Netflix, you don't need cable. Hop on YouTube, welcome to the hood table. Where we chop up local and global events vocally. You don't really want to miss out on these conversations. Just joke a little, huh? Laugh a little, get that wine in your system, fill your glass a little. Expose current events, talk trash a little. You never know these opinions might clash a little. They addicted to the content, got them binge watching. You don't like it, then you want invited. Bet your friends watching in the house and your job parking lot before you clock in. They don't want to miss a second of this HD content. Everybody think they got something to say, so it's an open invitation. Bring it to the table, but if you come whack, just know we ain't buying in. We gon' probably turn your back until you sorry try again. Uh, yeah, welcome to the hood table. You don't need Netflix, you don't need cable. Yeah, welcome to the hood table. You don't need Netflix, you don't need cable. Hey, what's up? What's up? Happy Saturday, you guys. It is Easter Eve, and I hope everybody who is preparing for the holiday, who actually celebrates the holiday, has a wonderful day tomorrow. Now, you guys, make sure on your way in, you hit that like button, please, because it helps with the algorithm. Make sure you share the video if you can, and also feel free to subscribe to The Hood Table if you are new here, and hit that join button to become an official member of Hood Nation. Now, you guys, we are still following along with Sean P. Diddy Puffy Combs, a.k.a. Brother Love, a.k.a. AKA Diddy, huh, the man of many names, okay? <laughs> and people are still wondering, where is Diddy? Diddy has been spotted. Diddy has been spotted several times, as a matter of fact, probably more than several times. But, you know, we can only report on what's coming in. I'm sure a lot of people have probably ran across him. Um, just waiting on pictures and footage to cross the YouTube, not the YouTube streets, but the social media streets. There is um, posts on social media that he has been spotted the other day, just basically living his life, living his life like it's golden, as if two of your homes, your mansions weren't just raided in the past week. He is out there playing golf. He is out there just doing his big one. He's out there in coffee shops and uh, with being spotted with Stevie J. I mean, he is he. It doesn't seem like he's worried or he's affected at all. Y'all, let me know. Let me know what y'all think about this because every video or every image that I've seen of him after he was spotted at the airport, um, every footage after that he seems like. Ain't nothing wrong. Like he has no worries. He has no woes. Like he ain't scared. <laughs> he ain't scared that he could be possibly facing prison time. I, child, I don't know. Y'all let me know why y'all think that he's just out here living his life like normal without even worried about any repercussion. Because me personally... Me personally, if I had not one home rated, we talking Homeland Security. We not talking about the police. <laughs> we not talking about the LAPD. <laughs> What's up, Nikki? How you doing, girl? <laughs> Man, we talking about Homeland Security, okay? <laughs> They raided not one of his homes, but two of his homes, both on each side of the coast. And he's out here just chilling. You say he got to live his best life while he free. Girl, I would be, I would be too scared to come outside. I'm telling you, I would have, they talk about, first of all, there's a lot of lies out there, especially on TikTok. Now we know, most of us know that he was not arrested. But there's a lot of lies out there on TikTok. One video in particular has almost 700,000 views. Well, it's probably almost at a million now. But it stated on there that he was arrested attempting to, attempting to flee the country in a private jet. But we know, we knew like the next day that he wasn't out of the country. Because, you know, the people over there, 
had basically took to social media and said he ain't here. His private jet got here. It was a white family on the uh, plane. I think they said a white family of four that was on the plane. I was still wondering who the hell did, did he put on his private jet to go to Antigua. But it, I don't know if it matters or not who those people were, but he wasn't on that jet. And we know furthermore that he wasn't on that jet because he's been spotted with both of his tw twin daughters, his twin daughters, uh, playing golf. Now, that was Thursday. That was, was that Thursday? Yeah, that was actually Thursday. And here's a picture right here. What's up, Miss Tiva? How you doing, love? Let me know if y'all can hear me okay. Okay, okay. Nikki said his days are numbered. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Thank you, Miss Tiva. Happy Easter back to you. And uh, Nikki said his days are numbered. He better do everything he can. So, uh, I guess I guess you got a point there, Nikki. Me, I still probably be hiding under a rock somewhere because I'm afraid to go to jail. I'm afraid. I ain't even going to lie. I ain't even gonna lie. I am afraid to go to jail. <laughs> but um, yeah. So his his uh, daughters. He was spotted with his daughters like Thursday. I believe that was Thursday. And um, they said basically he was at a golf course. Um, just days after the federal raid, they said he was flashing a peace sign. Do I got a picture of him and his daughters? Hold on, let me see if I got a picture of his daughters. And I think that's Tiva back there. I just want to see if I got this picture real quick. Yep, I sure do. Oh, I already have the picture up. Okay, Miss Tiva, I'm going to put up a banner just to make sure this is you, love. Girl, it's me. Hey, boo, how you doing? Hey, sugar boo, I ain't seen you in a while. How you doing? Honey, I've been chilling. I've been around here trying to get better. You should have heard me yesterday when I was live. I was on here with tears in my eyes from having sinus issues trying to report on diddy oh. yesterday i was like i felt so bad it's so horrible i was like y'all i gotta end this live <laughs> wow i didn't even know you was live hood table you know what i didn't get your notice just now so i'm gonna unsubscribe and resubscribe but i was just strolling up the feed and happened to see you i said that's hood table she on Hey, <laughs> it's okay. Well, I'm because... glad you're feeling better today, dear. Thank you. And I'm so glad I'm feeling better too. Cause I just said yesterday, I said, I don't think I'm going to do anything for Easter. Cause I just wasn't feeling it. And on top of that, uh -huh. both of my sons work tomorrow. They got to work 12 hours tomorrow. So it's like, yeah. eh, you know, I might go over to one of my relatives house or something like that tomorrow. Well, my youngest grandkids normally uh they would come over for Easter, but they at their other grandma's house, so they didn't even come over. I gotta call them. I had brought just a little bit of something, but nothing much because I would have known if they was coming over earlier. And then I was gonna do some Cornish hens and greens, macaroni, cheese, cornbread, and sweet potato. I said I ain't doing nothing. So Ooh, we probably go so Yeah, I'll probably go out and grab something to eat. That's what I probably do. There's this soul food restaurant here in town, and I know they're doing it big tomorrow with the mm -hmm. ham and everything. So I'm like, maybe I'll just order a few dishes, some ham and a few sides, and that's it. Because I really don't feel like cooking tomorrow. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. I'm kind of but, over holidays. If I didn't still have those little ones, I probably would be really over holidays, but just for them. So if they don't come over tomorrow, they're not going to come over tomorrow, then maybe next week they'll come over and I'll just give them their stuff. I'll still have the stuff, but I don't know. I Like I said, I'm over holidays. I understand. I understand. I, I, you know, the thing is, I know a lot of people, I know you in particular too, you know, have, may have parents that, you know, you lost. And so yep. I always felt like I had to carry on certain things because I'm literally like on my mom's side of the family, I'm the oldest and the only girl. Mm -hmm. And my my brothers couldn't make you a ham sandwich with cheese, okay? <laughs> so I picked up, I carried on a lot of her traditions. I learned how to make some of her food uh, and get her dressing down yeah. to it. You know, certain things. So for the holidays, I'm usually the one, the go-to girl and everybody over here. But I feel you because the last, I'm just like, mm, 
I don't know. I ain't been feeling it a lot lately, but hopefully I'll get into it, especially with the summer coming up. Mm -hmm. You know, good weather, you know, things like that. Yeah. And hey, Grish, what's up in Florida, Sugar? Well, um, what's going on? So what you think about Diddy? I don't want to stop your commentary. I just wanted to come and join you. It's okay. It's okay because I had dropped the link. Matter, matter of fact, I had pinned the link hoping that somebody might want to join me to discuss Diddy. And I was just saying how there's a lot of uh, fact checking going around on the internet because people feel the need to put lies out there that he's been arrested and taken in while trying to uh, escape to another country, which we know that's not true. But um, yeah, so the social media, they going around trying to take down all those, you know, those fake stories and stuff sometimes. Yeah, they take oh, they good at yeah. that. Mm -hmm. You know, and those stories get a lot of views. Yes. I don't, yes. Oh, I watch a couple of them and I'm, they get hell of a views. And yeah, a lot of it is false. We talked about it just a little bit today. I did a, a small live, nothing big, you know. But we talked about a little bit. I didn't get real in depth. So I'm just here to join you. So what you thinking? Well, one thing I found um, interesting was you saw the or, the RB Short, the RB Short, the RB Short post, right? About um, him begging his son to come home. Yeah, if he in danger. Mm -hmm. Right, right. He, I think he really thinks because there's allegations that Diddy and his sons were involved with a lot of things, you know, at his yeah. crib and his parties and stuff. So Quincy yeah. uh, has been getting a lot of flack because he's begging his son to come home. And a lot of people don't know about the relationship that him and his son have or didn't have. The whole mm -hmm. reason why Diddy even adopted Quincy when, you know, he was, uh, when he was married, well, you know, to his, you know. To Kim, uh-huh. Right, rest in peace. But um, basically... His son Quincy had wrote him a letter. Like I'll be sure had titled this letter a letter to my son. And a couple of years ago, Quincy had put a letter to my father. Oh, and for those I of y'all who don't remember that, I'm gonna read the letter to you. Not that long. Yep. But it says, This is from Quincy a few years ago. It said, Albert Brown, also known as Albie Shore, is my biological father. But Sean Combs, also known as Diddy, has been a father figure in my life for as long as I can remember. Sean Combs is the person who I look up to and appreciate as a father. He is the one who helped mold me into the person I am today, and I will always try to live up to his expectations. He has always been supportive of me, and I will forever love and respect him. As far as my biological father goes, the spitting image is all I have taken from him throughout oh. my life. Mm -hmm. And he went on to say, throughout my life, I've always wondered about him, where he was, what was he doing, and most importantly, was he even thinking about me? The absence of oh. my father has given me a better understanding of what type of man I am going to be. I am grateful for my mom's love, support, guidance, and for her strength. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was strange that all of a sudden he wanted to talk to his son, you know, telling his son that if he in danger, you know, he could come over. And I'm thinking that's odd after all these years, but you never know circumstances. No, I didn't know about that letter. Yeah, he wrote that letter four years ago. Mm -hmm. So how old was he four years ago? I don't know how old he is. Uh, I think right now he's 32. Is he 32? Oh, uh, okay. So 28. So, oh, wow. Four years, four years ago, 28. 28. Yeah, something like so, that. So, yeah, that's an old enough person to know that, but it's strange that he wrote that to him. Yeah, and it's basically, I couldn't believe it either because, I mean, like you just said, we don't know a lot of the things that celebrities go through, we go through as well, but we don't think that they go through that because all we see is mm -hmm. flash and jewelry and cars and movies right. and you know, but they go through almost worse stuff than us, really, because combined with all the money and stuff yeah. and all the power and stuff, a lot of times that go to their head, and a lot of times they can't trust the people around them with all the money and power they have. Exactly. So, yeah, I was just shocked, though. I'll be sure. I'll be wow, sure. I'll be that letter kind of deep, though. <laughs> the letter is kind of deep and just out of nowhere. The only thing that seems weird about 
well, now both of these situations, why out of nowhere at 28 years old, like, he would write his father that unless something is uh, transpired before that. That's something had to transpire for him to even, because that was like a rebuttal to something, like right. a clearing up something. Don't you see? That's just odd that a letter like that would take place after all those years. That's something perhaps maybe a younger kid would do. Hey, Queen you know, Diva. I but wonder, a 28-year-old hood? Well, I wonder, Miss um, Tiva, do you think it might have had something to do with, because his mom, you know, she can't pass in 2018 and this uh, letter was written in 2020 so mm, a couple of years of grieving Taco yeah and dad probably still not around and you but would think that he might have been around more especially after she passed but I yeah don't know. How long ago was Al B. Sure in that coma, though? Because he had been in that coma for a long time before I think it hit public. Yeah, he was in that coma for a long time, and that makes me wonder if Quincy was around during that time. Yeah. If he, you know, yeah. I don't know, maybe was like, okay, let me put the past in the past, you know, yeah. but I, Yeah, I don't that's know. weird. And maybe too, you know, when you raising kids in that type of lifestyle, he could have been really, I know he probably appreciated and, and appreciate Puffin's grateful for him, but mm -hmm. also he could be caught up in the um, hype, the highlights, mm -hmm. you know? And yeah, so it may true. have been easier for him to kick Albie short to the side, but we never know again in exchange what would even make him write that letter and the feel like mm -hmm. that to say something basically you just a sperm donor i mean in layman's term mm -hmm. yep <laughs> yep you're right about that but i did i just checked on the blogs on uh social media and it said that he woke up from a two-month-long coma um and this was published on december 17 2022. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah you never know because they you know allegedly a hearsay say that puffy was behind that too that you oh, know he yeah. was trying to take we really don't know we really don't know sometimes i, I would really like to be a fly on the wall and you know what if i was a fly on the wall i can bet that puff daddy was big red big red yes you know from <laughs> from the movie <laughs> oh girl don't I say that in front of diva <laughs> Don't say that in front of Diva because she'll tell you we gonna take her black card in a minute. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't even watch. Oh, no. No, <laughs> oh Diva tell you, oh, don't ask her. She don't know. I, I've never even heard that before. Who is Vic really? Red? Okay, okay. Now when if you ever hear somebody say, My hours are nine to five. If you ever hear that term, they got it from a movie, and it was by a guy named Big Red. That was the name of the character. Uh huh. If you remember the his real name, but it was on the Five Heartbeats. Oh no! Yeah, I watched the Five Heartbeats. Okay, so do you remember Big Red, the light skinned guy? The light skinned one. Ah. Oh, yeah, okay, like, now I know what you're talking over about. Over the uh, balcony. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, I was about to say, I don't even have a clue, but yes, I did. I watched the Five Heartbeats more than once. I, I like the Five Heartbeats. You ain't got to take your black card today. <laughs> yes, they, Diva, tell you she'll snatch it quick, girl. Don't don't ask me no trivia about no movies, no nothing, no. Say, hi. You know what? I was telling her for real, I don't think I ever watched The Color Purple in its entirety. Well, I tell you one thing: don't watch this new age shit first. Yeah, definitely. I watch heard that. The first one. Yes, because that new age one, I couldn't even get into it. I literally watched it for like four days and kept falling asleep. Really? Through the, through the movie, and then mm -hmm. when I finally watched it, I was like, I just was like, hmm. So. Not to, but just to get back, because I know your commentary was puffy. So do you think with the feds, right, do you think that a lot of the stuff that they are saying about puffy is true? If 
mm-hmm. in reference to the X ring and trafficking and all that? I do. I do. I do too. What made me believe it more, I mean, it was kind of like, to me, the R. Kelly thing. I always believed yeah. R. Kelly was doing all those things, always. And I don't care what people say, oh, you guys just hating on a black brother. Y'all just want to see a big man, a black man down. I hate Mm-mm. that shit. I'm, I'm like, if they doing something illegal and hurting people, then they should be held responsible for that. And I felt the exactly. same way with Diddy. But with Diddy, when Little Rod press his lawsuit, the most recent one, mm-hmm. and he got audio and video footage of the um, RICO-type activities that uh, wow. world in. And then, like, literally right after that came the raid. I think he is the one, because there's, like, uh. four Diddy done had almost 50 lawsuits that I he know. has settled outside of court. And so it was this one by Little Rod. And then right after that, there came the uh, Homeland Security. Now, let me ask you, Mm -hmm. because that's the part I missed. That's the missing link. Now, here I go again. Who is Little Rod and what exactly role does he have to play in this? I heard people say Little Mm -hmm. Rod again. I didn't watch much of it, though. Okay, okay. Little Rod. Now, you know Diddy has recently just made a new album, right? No. Okay, so (laughs) Little (laughs) Rod. It's okay. Okay, so Diddy has a, uh, Diddy had a producer that helped him with his album. And his name was Rodney Jones, and they called him Little Rod. And he had um, made allegations and did also a lawsuit claiming that Diddy was uh, sexually harassing him, him and other celebrities, including his children. Oh and my gosh, had, including whose children? Diddy's kids. That and Diddy also, was mm-hmm. allegedly, okay. Allegedly, allegedly, but allegedly. also among those people was Cuba Gooding Jr. He threw him what? in a lawsuit as well. And it was like one time they were on his uh on his jet. I believe was it on his jet or his one of his boats? I can't remember. But um Cuba Gooding, they was like tossing, it was like a go back and forth between Diddy and Cuba. Now, I don't know if you remember, but Cuba has settled some lawsuits and filed uh-huh. guilty to some charges uh-huh. in the past for that stuff, right? Uh-huh. So that's not too far-fetched to believe. <laughs> <laughs> right, but basically wow. he said um, Combs was grooming him to pass him off to his friends and that fear became reality when Combs introduced him to Gooding on his yacht and this was in 2023 last year what? yes and he wow. said he was Gooding of fondling his legs upper inner thighs near his groin the small of his back near his butt and his shoulders which made a producer extremely uncomfortable Although oh, he allegedly shit. rejected the actor's advances, Gooding did not stop until Mr. Jones forcibly pushed him away. And he felt like since Diddy was the owner of that yacht and he was his employee because he was his producer working on his music with him, uh-huh. that he felt like Diddy should have done more except for Diddy was doing the same shit to him. I was about to say that's because he was, yeah, they Cuba was uh, comfortable doing it because that's what they do. They yep. get people out on those yachts. They give them that little free candy and shit. You know what I'm talking about? And that's what they do. They take advantage of them, you know, and that's why I believe it's all coming together. And I really believe, damn, the every accusation they done made. I really do. Yep. I can see him being that type of person. I really mm-hmm. can. Mm-hmm. I can too. I can too. And Queen Diva said, girl, I took her black card a long time ago. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, hey, it's Vibrant. okay. She <laughs> always up, say Vibrant? that. She- so, hey, Vibrant. I can't see Vibrant. But um, yeah, so I'm thinking, and so people saying, well, uh, my son was saying to me too, I was talking to him and he said, well, mom, don't you think they would have arrested him by now? Not really. Not really, but I bet you they got him in eye shot that he can't really go nowhere and they don't know where he's going at. 
Right. But think back mm -hmm. to all the way back to the shine situation. Yep, I talked about that. Mm -hmm. And the million dollars that Diddy paid Shine, a hundred thousand per year for those 10 years he served. The lady who was shot claimed ever since that day, and she still stuck to her guns. Diddy was the one who shot me. Uh, she, I looked I, dead I, in his face. She you sure know? did. She, she sure like, I did. I heard her. Face. Now I heard her video. She said mm -hmm. she know for sure he was, and she believed she even went as far as to say Jennifer Lopez had the gun on her yep. and handed yep. Diddy the gun. She sure yep. did. She was on the news yep. saying that. Yep. And then what happened later? Diddy broke up. I mean, she broke up with Diddy. And it's they Damn stayed right behind after. that. Yep. They broke up mm. soon after. And then Shine, he ends up getting out of uh not only did he get out the pen, but uh and get a million dollars from Diddy, but when they had to uh send him back to his country because he couldn't be an ex-con here, when uh -huh. they sent him back to his country, he couldn't get like some positions that he wanted over there. Right. And he didn't stepped in to right. help right. Him get those positions over there, the right. high power positions. Like he felt like he owed him or something. Okay. Now, with you saying that, we also, I, you know, I also think about this and we discuss this. That's why some people get so caught up that they will do things for these celebrities and stuff and put their life on the line and do certain things. That's just like the Secret Service men. Their job is to put their life on the line for the president or whomever, right? So mm -hmm. it, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, Wait, go ahead. I don't think it, it to me, it, it wouldn't surprise me right there. You go. It doesn't surprise me that Shine did that, but it's more people just like Shine too that do certain things for these celebrities and they pay in their way for a long, long time. And those people will come forward too for you know to reveal a lot of stuff that these celebrities are probably paying people to hush money like. And he paid that boy when that boy took that way for him. But that girl said she know for sure without a shadow of a doubt that it right. was Diddy who shot her in the face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then That's keep in mind, uh, Diddy, uh, they were a lawyer um, had did a segment about Diddy's NDA recently. And you know how some people NDAs, it'll specifically say you can't say this or you can't talk about uh -huh. this. Mm -hmm. These are really broad. And a lawyer said he would never have any of his clients sign the type of DA, NDA that Diddy makes his people sign or people around him. He said it's too broad, it's too open, and it's basically there to uh, cover like a massive cover up. Oh, okay. Because it's like you basically can't do anything. Mm -hmm. Or say anything. And the lawyer said it was an agreed weapon weaponized for intimidation. Oh, and he wow. said it was the most dangerously broad legal document that he has ever seen. So a lot wow. of people signed those things. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. And he said basically mm -hmm. the lawyer also said this is like uh, what did he say? He said it's not only designed and intended to create that culture of silence and intimidation, but any mm -hmm. reasonable person reading this would think they would just need to shut the hell up. Wow. Yeah, you know, it would be interesting, too, because I know some um, lawyers normally on YouTube, you know, um, like Baker, and then I know the black the black lady that I follow sometime, Natalie, the lawyer chick, and there's a couple of other lawyers. Well, in fact, you got uh, the guy who used to always talk about Tasha K, and I used to follow him. Yeah, that's what I think. Right there with Informer Sugar saying, I, that's what I think it was. The raid was to clean up the royalty. I believe that. I believe they raided his house to get rid of a lot of the evidence about other people, not so much him, mm -hmm. but about other people who's involved, you know? 
Well, they said the you know that psychic, right? The psychic who had predicted this was going to happen. Sloan Bella. Yes. I was watching her last <laughs> night. Mm -hmm. Yes, she and it goes all the way back to Motown, and that people are going to want to silence him. And when she said in one of her videos that she see his roof having a hole in it, and every time he try to cover it or patch it up, another hole comes through. And when yeah. he try to patch that up, another hole comes through. Yeah. So ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. But you remember she also said that Ashley, they get into Puffy and the reason why they trying to protect Puffy because it's bigger, 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 most important, more important and bigger fish that they trying to get that they don't want to be caught up in this Puffy thing. Right, right. Yeah, she mentioned something like that too. She was saying that it's people who we wouldn't think of, like, you know, the average person wouldn't think about. And she said it goes so deep as the royal family. So when Informant Sugar put that up there, that's what she said. She says dignitaries is royal family members. She said is big yep. people who can go down with Puffy. Yep, she did right. say that too. Now you remember, I'm going to ask you this. Now, I know me and you is probably around the same age. So you might remember, you might I'm not. 25. But uh, girl, me too. But uh <laughs> I'm just saying you might recall or may not, but back in the day, there was this uh Franklin Credit Union uh scandal here in Nebraska and Omaha. And it dealt with the owners of this black owned Franklin Credit Union. And then there's a place here called Boys Town. It's a really big place, like on a campus, that takes in like troubled teens. Troubled teens. Troubled Boys okay. Town. Okay. All right. So you know about Boys Town. So yeah, we got one in Jersey. Mm hmm Girl, the people who own the Franklin Credit Union, they among when I say people in high places, we talk mm -hmm. about all the way to the White House. We talking celebrities. We talking lawyers, attorneys, doctors. Uh -huh. They were with this trafficking of children. Uh -huh. so it was so huge and so big. A lot of people looked that up. Franklin Credit Union scandal. It happened. Now right I now. remember the story. I definitely remember the story, but I don't remember the Franklin part, but that's been many years ago. But I remember that Boys Town story. And if I'm not mistaken, we had one of those Boys Towns in Jersey's as well. But I remember that story you're talking about. I just don't remember the name, the Franklins. Yes, but it's it the was same prostitution going on with the children that's what it was and it was it was here in omaha nebraska around like wow. in the 80s the 90s and yeah. basically uh people were um saying that the money from the union had been oh. used to pay for child prostitution and it said oh my like God. The first king that was the one who ran the credit union he was like the owner they said also that it was a ring of a cult of devil worshipers involved in the mutilization, trance, sacrifice, and cannibalism of numerous children as well. I want you to, you know what? I was talking about this video. I wish I would never went to this party. And, but basically the guy was talking about the ill people, you know who I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The ill. And he was saying that he was invited to this party. And it reminded me of the seven deadly sins, you know, each um, portion of the party, right? But he was saying it was social media people. They, was, uh, they were actually inviting big social media influencers. And he named his friend David, right? And the reason why I say that, because it really do take place. These things really take place, but yeah. we just don't. We're not really familiar, and it sounds weird to us because we're not on that level, you know? But a lot of this stuff is cultish-like. You basically signing up to be in like a cult, and you foregoing all your religious beliefs to be really like agnostic, basically, to join these big high society cults. That's all they are, cults. That's exactly so, what Frank Franklin Credit Union scandal was, high society. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a lot of people behind that shit, and that's why when one go down, just like, you know, think about a Jeffrey Epstein, Harvey Weinstein, 
when one goes down, it could take many, many people to include people of that stature of, you know, the presidency, the uh, judges, lawyers, you know, the Senate and all that. All of them be involved in a lot of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, they sure do. And since you mentioned that, do you believe that he took his own self? No. I always said, I think, I think uh, for me, I believe Jeffrey Epstein is on his island, one of his islands. Remember, on mm -hmm. the island, you really could never get to those people, you know, if you're not invited because there's only one way over there. Right. And there's only one way out. And a lot of people are not invited. So I believe he over on one of his islands or either in, living in the bunker below ground somewhere, living it up. They know. I don't believe he's dead. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. See, some people think he did himself. Some people think somebody else did it. And of course, then we have, you know, the other theory that he escaped, he got away. I don't know. Uh, you know what? He could have. He, well, you know, that could be true, too. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying I don't believe it the way it was staged, you know, and from what I saw, I don't believe that it was factual, to be honest with you. I don't really believe. Now, he could have did himself in, you know, but I think so, I most likely... And before but, he exposed all those people, they would do him in. You know, I think way, he was scared. A I huh? really think he was scared. I could be wrong. Somebody could have done something to him. But I feel like he had so many people involved with him. And he didn't want to face the time. He's one of those people to me. Like, okay, I know all these people was involved in the shit that I was involved in, too. I'm not going to ever say their name. But I'm yeah. also not going to jail. Yeah, so I'm you take could the, be right. I'm take the, the the cowardly way out. Yeah, you could be right. You know, a lot I, of those I people. Too, you know. Yeah, I don't know. This world is so wicked. You know, optics is everything, and that's what gives us perceptions and stuff. And they really put some shit in front of us that make us believe it that I think is not factual. But then that goes down the rabbit hole some. But I really do. Yeah, I do cool. believe that. Now, he could be. He could have took the easy way out, you know. But I also think, why would Giselle Maxwell be left behind? Because she had the black book. So right. why would she be left behind? She's still left behind alive. Think and about that could it. And the reason why he might have took himself, if that is, in fact, what happened. Because you got a point there. If they were going to take him out, why wouldn't they take her out? Yeah. So Why didn't they take a she had the black book, right? She was right. one of his madams or whatever. She did all the work. So I'm she not sure person. why she's still hanging around. Maybe, you know, next year she won't be here. I don't know the end of this shit. <laughs> we well, don't know what these people, these people are mentally ill to even do shit like that. Oh, yeah, she said she been... Epsine Shine. So so she was what Shine was to Puff Daddy. That's what uh exactly. said. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, people would do that. They would sacrifice themselves, you know. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, informer sugar, you could be right. You know, if you think about it, and this may be on a minimal level, but just think about secret servicemen. I know I spoke about them earlier. They actually risked their lives for the president. Right? Because sure if do. something happened, basically they is supposed to step in front of the president and take the bullet or whatever. So people will sacrifice their lives for other people. It's crazy, but something that little that. right there, if you think about it, that's a job, that's a profession. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you saying you take an oath, yeah, if so and so go down, I will risk my life for that person. That shit crazy. It's crazy, even though even though they make good money doing that, I could never. I, I got I a cousin never. who. I'd be like, "Oops, I don't know how that gun bullet hit you." Oops. Yeah, <laughs> baby, I ain't jumping the front for nobody. <laughs> but you know, that's what they sign up for. So something that little, known as a profession, right? Can you imagine people in that rim? What they will do for some of these people? Yeah, we see it happen time and time again with these celebrities. Like, yeah. for instance, with I still cannot, I still cannot fathom how everybody who was involved in the ring with Kills, he was the only one. But they did say 
uh, Sloan did say with Diddy that he will end up being the sacrificial lamb. Yeah, she did say that. And she said because he has to protect. And the reason why he's the sacrificial lamb is because he's he's um, protecting dignitaries and people much more powerful than him. Much, And she made an emphasis out of there, out of on that. Much more powerful than he is. And that could bring down a whole damn near. They probably talking about the royal family. I don't know. Allegedly. Probably so. I snuck Probably that one so. in there, but it could bring down, you know, some most some powerful people and you just can't have it. Like I said, for me, this is my belief. They will let us and I'm going to say a black person go, but so far. But once you reach a certain height, if you're not useful to them, they are going to discard you. If you will cost them any type of heartburn you know anything bring any type of heat to them they gonna discard you and they gonna make sure they strip you of everything and that's when you sign up for the devil's game that's what you the game you play and that's the chances you take so he he's somebody sacrificial lamb he is mm -hmm. and yep. i don't and i do believe that when they thrown around these other people names I believe that they they're going to be implicated in something as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, yep. have you been following uh, Fifty Cent and his <laughs> his trolling ass? He's yes, a good troll. Ass. What do you yeah, think about his ex, um, Daphne Joy and her allegations now? Like now, just why? Yeah, all of a sudden after he want to see full custody, yeah. After he heard about the shit she's involved in, yep. Now and I'm like sure you know what person, yeah. I, I could believe Miami was a paid lady too. I believe right. that. I always, I always have believed that Miami, maybe Joy was as well. And I think that um, she's just doing that because Fifty Cent's come coming for their son. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And I think he's much more powerful than she is. So we'll see how that goes. But I don't believe her. I don't mm -hmm. believe he did that to her. Now, he may have been uh, abusive to her, which is definitely a no-no. I don't condone that at all. But all that other stuff, he graped her and he, you know, and did all that other stuff. Nah, I don't believe that. And see, I don't believe it either because, for one, I mean, if, if 50 have done stuff like that, and I'm not trying to take his side, even though I do like 50, always have, but I think he would be more careful with his words. Yeah. If, if he's done a lot of horrible things to her up here, taunting her and judging her. and Oh, I'm going to get custody and woo woo woo. Yeah. If he's done all these horrible things to her. That's and why, why do you. It. Yeah. Why do you suppose now? Because he's trolling and saying all that stuff. And, you know, he's trolling Jay-Z, too. That is something to this, y'all. It's just something to it, you know. Mm, we'll just have to wait and see because believe me, I think it's a domino effect. I really do. It is. It is. They a lot of people is waiting to see if anybody's going to go down with the ship with Diddy. Yeah, well, you know, nobody really went down with R. Kelly. Did they? Not that I know. As a matter of fact, I was live the other day and I was asking people if I've been asleep or somewhere under a rock and I didn't hear about anything, anybody else going down with Kells, please let me know and lead me to the social media page or the news site because I haven't heard of anyone going down with him yet. Me either. And that's strange because he had a full blown entourage doing that. No, had knowledge of him doing it. He did some crazy shit, but they just took him down by himself. But right. now I always drivers, thought this people purchase tickets, airplane tickets. I mean, yeah. None of them. yeah, you you know what? I always thought this. I I think maybe years ago when this started happening to R. Kelly, I always thought that they were doing this to R. Kelly because he wanted his masters back. As soon and the same with Michael Jackson and a couple of the people who's no longer here with us. It seems like when they want their master back things start happening to them, to them. And it seemed like as soon R. Kelly 
decided that, you know, he caught on to whatever and he wanted his master back. He started getting stripped of everything. And then eventually, you know, he was put away. So I don't know. I don't know. It's child. It could be some conspiracies going on besides the fact that um, he did do a lot of those things. That he did, he did those I mean? things, but they also know he had been doing those things for 30 years. Yeah. And I also know that the masters is worth more than the artists. See, the masters will live on and there's two components to it. So, you know, um, even though he wrote the music, he signed away and a lot of these artists sign away their masters. You know, right. basically you hold their masters until they pay you what you think they owe you mm -hmm. until, you know, as far as contractual, contractual wise, look, Mace just, did he just give him back all those people, his masters? Why you suppose that is? See, so I, it's something to the masters. And when R. Kelly went for that masters, that's when all that shit started happening to him. If you track it, you'll see that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, so. that's true. And hey, shout out to everybody in the chat. We got Dovey, Vibrant, Queen Diva, uh, hey. Grace, Nikki. Um, make sure you guys, are, I'm sure you guys are, but make sure you like and share the video, please and thank you. And everybody who haven't dropped down in the chat, please also like and share the video. Thank you so much. Machiavelli, mm -hmm. right. Informing Sugar, Machiavelli, yeah. So I don't know, you know, again, we'll never really know any the ins and out of everything, just like when things happen here on a smaller scale. You know, you could spin narratives, you could say this, you could say, but we really don't know. We'll never know. Mm -hmm. And that'll true. be that'll be with this case, too, unless, you know, just a bunch of exposure come. We'll never really know. But I'm sure that these people do some strange things for change. I'm sure that they sell their souls oh, to get to a certain level. Huh? Definitely. Especially like I, I know we keep referring back to back to uh kills but i have to keep referring back to him yes. because a lot of the people who came to him were looking for help in a career right. and they were promised help even parents were promised that he would yep. help them and even in the yep. situation with diddy diddy promised people stuff too even though diddy put on more people that he took care of under age than kells did we can't say mm -hmm. that right Mm -hmm. The people who Kells took under his wing, underage, he ain't put them on. The only person yeah. he was affiliated was, as far as like truly affiliated, that got put on wasn't really by him, and that was Aaliyah. She was already getting put on, right? Mm -hmm. But you know what happened with him. But when it comes to uh, like we saw the videos lately, lately videos have been coming back up surrounding him and Justin Bieber and and oh, Usher. just a lot. And, Usher saying what he said last week, I would never leave my children around Diddy. I remember when he said that on that video. Yeah, yes. that's crazy because basically they telling you really in so many words. Yeah, he's just what y'all what they say he is. Yeah, for but, you know, I did what I had to do. Basically, right. yeah, he's just who you say he is. But I had to do what I had to do to get on. Because, exactly. you know. Mm -hmm. They did it. They did something. They sacrificed something. But mm -hmm. I do think that um, we all have to watch this play out. I don't see Diddy not getting any time. I don't see them really um, breaking them down to the lowest degree. I don't. Hey, unapologetically, QI and Informant Sugar. I don't yeah, see that. Q I? I love shows like this. Q I love shows. Oh, yeah, she be wanting to get in there. You want to hit the link mm -hmm, yeah q uh -huh. i love stuff like this you know and here's the thing too um yeah it's just like even if you listen to the music you know hood table and i know like i said a lot of times i like the beat for the thump and the bump but i really don't know the verses the words that they say and i'm just pumping to the beat but it seems like the music is getting darker and darker and it's penetrating and infiltrating and i'll community more and more and more like to make sure that is destroys a community. You know what I mean? It's getting to the younger ones and everything and believe it. They the champions of it. They the champions of it. Mm -hmm. 
So I agree. I if they can't do what they it. want the, uh, them to do to help destroy us, you, you're not no good use to them anymore. True, true. A lot of this music, um, I want to say probably in the last 10 years, only a only a few artists I have really like the newer ones I really got into. Other than that, I'm the old school chick. I'm still listening Me to too. the '90s music. You know, shoot, I'm a big. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like sweat, but I like that era of music. Mm -hmm. Um, but this Me new too. stuff, my children be around here listening to that stuff, and I'll be like, okay, don't play that stuff too loud. Go downstairs. Go to the man cave. Go somewhere. But I like <laughs> the know, beat. The beat. I was just gonna say. I the love beat. beat. Like, hey, hey, want to dance and stuff? Yeah, I love some of the beats, mm -hmm. you know. But then when you listen to the lyrics, I'm like, they let this shit, this is music, and look how seductive is, this music is. So, yeah, I, I don't know. know. I think they desperation a lot when it comes to these entertainment companies because we we you know we gotta admit that they don't make as much money as they used to. Yeah. Back in the day, we was out here buying albums, tracks, yeah, remember the vinyls, dropping, downloading uh on our little uh, not our Walkmans, but our i i what that thing was called our uh iPods. Remember no, the little iPods, the Walkman. You right? Yes, they don't yeah. make money like that anymore. No, so you I right? Know. They well, they stream everything now, and everything is so digital that you don't need to, but. Somehow they still making money though, but yeah. I'm like you, it's not like before. Yeah, they still making so. money. I don't know how because I ain't paid for nothing. Well, I, I ain't gonna lie, I do pay for uh X Sirius. I do I do pay for that. Um you pay for Sirius XM? Yep, I pay for Sirius, but girl, you know what? I was just talking to my homegirl the other day. I pay for Sirius, then when they get uh trying to renew, I don't renew it and it, it's kind of like our cable company up here, probably with some of y'all too. When you like cut the cable loose or something, they'd be like, Oh, well, we can give it to you for this. Yeah, money. we could. Get... I'm paying you know... four dollars, four dollars per month Who? for a year on Sirius right now. Hood table, how much do you pay for your stream yard? Uh, I paid the lowest one, so that's 25. I pay 25 too, but no, that's not the lowest one, girl. They say you call in and tell them something that you about to stop your stream yard because oh, it yeah. costs too much, $25. They say it's only $10, and you I still can hold that. up to 10 people. I heard about that. Maybe I ought to try that. I should say, yeah, I'm going to stop because, no, uh, you guys charge me too much. And they have that other one. It's not stream yard. What is it? Something stream. You talking about... um. Is it live stream or I think I think View uses sometimes where you can actually see your chat on the screen. Yeah, I think View does use it. Yeah, I think yeah. the View does use, but yeah, but they saying that ten. They say yeah, you could get Streamyard. They was telling me that a couple of weeks ago. You still paying twenty five dollars? I say yeah, because that shit. You know what it is? It automatically comes out. And I don't pay it any mind. Exactly. You know, sometimes, but then. Why pay 25 when I could pay 10? I love a good bargain. Well, I'm gonna use you as a guinea pig. Yeah. <laughs> when your shit run out, you yeah. try that. And if I'm gonna call them for real. Yeah. I got Canva and all that. I got editing tools and all that. I just spend money on that shit and barely use it. I, I don't know why, because for one, it takes a while to edit things because I was gonna start trying to do uploads, mainly uploads. But uh, it takes a while to edit that stuff. You got to get really fast at it. If not, uh, you'll be there for hours trying to edit. Like I was trying to do a uh, upload on, um, it was, I think, a missing teen or something like that. Well, anywho, I had put all the clips together and stuff. But then when I was trying to do the voiceover, it didn't match the pictures like. I didn't know how to move it along. Oh, it's a lot when it comes to editing, but I got all that stuff. Voiceovers. I'm gonna tell you what I do when I do it, which I don't really do anymore because it just it's too time consuming. I don't have it to do right. It is. But instead of doing the talkovers, what I used to do, is, and I use um uh the old school system <laughs> that uh, that a lot of people probably still use, but that is OBS. I like OBS. I still use OBS, and um. 
I'll like, if you got like a clip or a picture or something, I'll just put that clip and I'll start talking and, da, 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 da. and if I mess up, I just go over and whatever I mess up on. Then I show the next clip and I'll start talking over that clip. And then I just upload the whole thing on YouTube and I edit and chop it up the pieces I don't need and whatever, whatever, because that stuff just takes too long. And I know some people's work it looks does. amazing, but one thing I learned, girl, when I first started on YouTube, on my main, main other channel, um, I heard somebody say, it don't matter how much editing you do. It don't matter how many uh, fancy things you got, like equipment and stuff like that. You can have an old nasty piece of cell phone and that's it. It could get mm -hmm. millions and millions of views. Yeah, like, Rico said that too. Yeah. Rico the barber used to tell us that. He used to, he was telling me that um, he used something cut, fi final cut. He saying I do everything on my phone, Miss T Velocity. To be honest with with you, I just for one don't have the patience. I don't. Do I. It just takes too much damn time. Even though you come on live, and what I like about live is that you're interactive. You interactive, and that's good. You know, you can engage and you could come on live, and it's like having a conversation with your friends or something like that. All that upload shit, like I said, you got to know how to cut and paste, cut and do this and do that, and the voice have to go over. It was just too much work for me. I worked right. on one little clip for about shit, maybe a good four or five hours, and I didn't even put this stuff out mm -hmm. because it still wasn't <laughs> to my liking. So I don't have time like that. I wish I could find me an editor. It does take a lot of time. And I actually saw a post, and no shade to the person who wrote it, just in case they follow me. But I had saw a post the other day, and they were basically saying, now I see why a lot of people who just do lives, um, a lot of people, I guess, talk about them, that they're not as uh, talented, because mm -hmm. they have recently did a, a video edit, and said it took like six or eight hours to do it. And I give much shout out and respect to the people who do editing with whoop, whoop compared to the people who just come live. And I think what they're trying to say is basically a lot of people do come live, especially in this yeah. sector. And a lot mm -hmm. of times it's just bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's fighting, arguing, and all that kind of shit, right? Yeah. But if we're talking about people who come live, like what we're doing right now, like what mm -hmm. you do a lot on your panel, where we're mm -hmm. holding a platform and holding discussions, that's kind of sometimes harder that than is. doing a lot of edits. Yeah, but you know too, um, little that my that little uh, little pressure. She right. did a hell of a editing she did, the other I day. Saw it. I saw it, and, and I she she thing. did real good. I want to say I shared it out, but if not, I really meant to. She's really good at that. But yeah, I'm I not. The whole thing on, on, me uh, too. P. Diddy. Yeah, I watched the whole me thing. Me too on P. Diddy. She, and she did her research. She got the right voice. She had the right little pictures. And she didn't use a lot of pictures, but it was just enough. And she did a wonderful job. She did a great you job. You know, and I, I commend her for doing that. But it seems like the younger generation is just a little more quicker at learning that stuff too, versus me. I'm a lady of a particular age. That's just not my judge. All this top technology, but she did a nice little piece. And I was saying to myself, damn, I wish she would do that more because it remind me of the girl that comes on all the time. I ain't one to gossip and you ain't heard it from me. Psh, psh, miss, um, not impressive. It didn't remind me of impressive. The other one. But anyway, she don't do anything but uploads and she get a hundreds and hundreds of views but mm -hmm. she just do uploads that's all she do and little pressure upload reminded me of her because it wasn't long but it was just enough exactly exactly and i do like i say she said she had to give credit to people who do. i give credit to them too because you have to yeah. also have patience mm -hmm. and, and people ask do. me all the time why don't i do more Upload more uh, cake decorating. That shit takes for it. Oh, okay, yeah. now Miss Tiva, <clears throat> excuse me, Miss Tiva. Sometimes it takes me. <sighs> let's see, to bake a cake, depending on how big, how big the order is, it could be an hour to three hours. Yeah. 
And then to make all the batter, make all the colors, make all the frosting, make all, that could be a couple more hours. And then to actually decorate the cake. I mean, it could be an all day thing, depending on how big the order is, right? If it's a yeah. wedding, if it's just a, a birthday cake, you know, stuff like that. And then to actually record all that shit and then chop all that shit down and put it in like a 10 minute, five minute. Yes. Video. That shit That's takes crazy. Ever. That's yeah, why that shit crazy. I do it live, and I got so many videos on here. Well, I'm just live. I could be chopping up with you right now about P Diddy, and I'll be whipping up a cake and making a cake and decorating while I'm talking to y'all. I prefer to do it that way. But I watched. That's how I found out about. Um, I found out about you. I want to say I was in Deanna's, and you was in there, and you was about to make a cake. You made a cake and cupcakes, and this was before you moved in your new house. Mm -hmm. And I watched you. You did it live. And you was making this cake. And then you did a couple of cupcakes. And I watched you the whole time. And I think I had somehow got the video from Deanna. I heard Deanna say something. Or maybe you said. And I said, oh, let me go watch her do cake decoration. And I went over there and watched you. And you was doing it as a video form. Yep, yep. Because sometimes yes. I'll be like, okay, let me let me clip this down because what I what I started doing was if I go live and I'm making a cake live, I might go back later and cut out just the parts of me doing the live. I'll turn mm -hmm. the volume down and chop it down real slow and then throw mm -hmm. some music over it. Now that still takes some time. Yeah, it takes time. You know, I don't just do cakes. I got like several other jobs. I got a, a website where I do blogs. I got YouTube. Yeah. So I don't have it. So I do give credit yeah. to the people who do those. But just, I don't want people to just think that you have to have a whole bunch of flashy stuff and uh, nice, fancy editing to get views. Yeah. A lot of people get thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of views, and they come on here and they just talk like us. They go live. Like, how many times you see people live and they got 20,000 in their chat? 10,000. But, but look at this, too. <laughs> but and here's another thing, too. I tell Diva all the time. She said, why don't you stay on long? I said, Diva, it's not easy holding a crowd by yourself and talk for hours. You know, that's why it's good to drop the link. However, the people who get the most views, like you said, they're more of the drama and the chaos. So they yeah. have people on their panel that will take them over. Even if they go and go to the store and come back. Yep. I'm, I'm just telling you some for real shit. Go take a shower. Go get dinner. Go do something. Go take care of the kids and come back. They still have people there to hold over. That's and that's how you could go so long. Remember, they, didn't let, they won't let Brie live that down when she said she went to go get some apple juice. <laughs> remember that? I remember that. Channel, it went down on her panel. <laughs> I remember that. Girl, oh, I'll start that. They said, I went to get some apple juice. 20 minutes worth of apple juice? 10, 20 <laughs> minutes? Where the hell did you go? To the grocery store? I remember that time. That but, um... Funny, that was funny but you know what that um that is true and so people don't realize going live is not that easy and and sometimes i have to force myself to go live you know i said i was gonna start coming on more but i have to force myself to go live because i don't yeah, always want to talk about the junk yeah you know and it's almost if you don't really talk about the junk you don't have anything to talk about if you don't watch anything else or nothing else come up, you know, think about it. Well, I can say, I can truly say that I cannot tell ever that you would ever or feel the sense that you'd be like, oh, I don't want to go live because I think you do a great job on your panel by yourself. And it does take practice and it does take consistency. Like before I even started the hood table, like four or five years ago, I had Tanya's prime time. And all I did was TV show reviews. And on that channel, I got views up in the 100,000s on TV show reviews. And some of them as low as 100. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. like people 
choose and pick what they want to watch from you. You know, it's always going to be like that. Like over here, I might have a video that got 20,000 views and then I got some that got 20 views. But the thing is, you still have to be consistent. And the one yeah. thing I so if you're going to be going live, just pretend like you're just talking to a <laughs> friend, talking to a relative, and just uh -huh. that will help you get through the live and it'll help your flow. Because when I first started going, um, when I first started doing uploads on my main channel, my first channel, uh -huh. all I did was uploads on TV show reviews. And that got boring to me. And so I really? said, I'm about to start doing live because I want to hear what other people yeah. about these TV shows. So I don't you like talking live. to people? Yes, but yeah. still, if I'm cut for time, like this morning, I don't know if you saw, but I did a, a review on a uh, Black Mafia Family BMF this morning. No, because I haven't watched that. Yep, and I, I, I told that. you y'all gonna take my black card, and Girl. every time you see it. Every time you do, there's no need for me. If I don't watch it, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And that's the thing. A lot of people, if they don't watch the shows, that's why I said it's some shows I get a lot of views on. Some shows I don't get a lot of views on. But I do shows that I like. A lot of people on here do shows that other people are interested in. Watch. I can't do mm -hmm. that because I'll get bored of the show or I'll start skipping shows. or So I have to do reviews on shows that I really am into. And so when I'm crunched for time, like this morning, I knew I wanted to talk about Diddy. So I just went ahead. Sorry. And did an Let me mute. I'm going out my garage. Hold on. Okay. So I just went ahead and did an upload on Black Mafia Family this morning because I knew I wanted to get in and get out. And then go live right after that on P. Diddy. So, but yeah, it takes consistency doing lives and being comfortable to go live. And it does take a little talent, too, to be able to, you know, be up here and not feel like you're just uh uh like somebody was on here the other day child if they would have said uh one more time while they was live covering <laughs> did there was like uh, yeah. uh, uh 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 i was like uh, if you say uh one more time <laughs> but that's child, crazy that was funny. What's up? Uh, is that ZX? What's up, ZX? Grown folks. Grown folks TV was over there interviewing VS the other day. I saw that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but back as far as Diddy goes, uh, he's out there. Miss Tiva, do you think he doesn't have a care in the world the way people are spotting him at coffee shops, golf courses? He's just out there acting like two of his homes didn't just get raided, one on East Coast. So it kind of appears like he has no worries, no concerns. He ain't scared. I, I'm just, I don't know. Hold on. What did, what did QI say? If it wasn't me, hold on, let me see. It wasn't me, was it with the, uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't you, QI. <laughs> I promise you it wasn't. It wasn't, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Miss Tiva had to drop down. She was going through her garage, so I don't know if the signal uh went out. Sometimes when I'm going out through my garage too, sometimes the signal gets a little wacky till I pull out out the garage. But yeah, <laughs> nope, that wasn't you. That wasn't you. <laughs> but yeah, I spent about an hour on here. I was going to try to give uh, Tiva a minute to get back on here just in case she had dropped down on accident. Okay, that's okay, love. That's okay. That's okay. I'm about to wrap it up soon anyway. Uh, QI said, Diddy was nervous when he was pacing. Yes, he was. He was nervous when he was pacing over there at Customs when they, you know, right when that, uh, his uh, mule, his alleged mule, the ex-basketball player got arrested for, you know, the drugs or whatnot. But yeah, he seemed really, really nervous. He was walking a hole in that cement, huh? On that concrete. But now he's out there throwing up peace signs and shit with his daughters at the uh hold on, here's a picture right here. Here's a picture of him right here throwing up the peace sign while he with his twin dollars at the golf course. And then he was spotted with who none other than Stevie J. Like Stevie J. 
He was spotted with Stevie J. You see, Stevie, Stevie, Stevie. <laughs> with Stevie J. <laughs> At a coffee shop. So, yeah, he's out there living his life. I know somebody, I think Nikki, I think that was Nikki in the chat who was saying um, he's uh, taking advantage of doing things that he's normally used to doing or whatever, uh, just in case he get locked up. Like, me personally, I would be so terrified of going to jail or prison. I'd be, boy, you wouldn't be able to find me. Shoot, I tell my mama and all them, my kids, I got to go. I got to go. I don't know when y'all going to see me again. But, yeah, he he's out there. He's out there. So I'm uh, going to keep my eye on this, and we're going to continue discussing it and uh, catching you up with the latest updates. And every time I do come live, I learn something new. Sometimes you guys in the chat will tell me something I didn't see. And just like Miss Tiva, she was telling me something on the panel that I haven't heard. And I was telling her stuff that she haven't heard. So, you know, it, it's that's why I like to go live as well. Doing uploads might be a little time consuming if you got a lot of editing. Me, I don't do a lot of editing on my uploads. I just record a video and just upload the shit. But sometimes I do like to go live and have an actual discussion with my peeps, with my hoodies, with Hood Nation. So I do appreciate you guys when you do drop down in the chat and you actually speak and let your presence be known. It really means a lot to content creators who go live instead of just having people up in the clouds and the trees all the time, just watching and lurking, <laughs> even though we appreciate y'all views as well. But yes, you are welcome. She said, thanks for having me. Yes, you are so welcome anytime. And you said, uh, keep us posted. I will. Oh yeah, Miss Tiva, still hit me up. Um, I don't know if you're on OG, I mean on IG, but look me up on the hood table because I know at one time you said you wanted to have a discussion um, with like me and Corio and Cislo. I just can't remember what you said it was going to be about. I can't remember what we were going to be discussing. But anyway, hit me up anytime if you want me to join you on your panel anytime, love. And I do appreciate all of you guys for tuning in this morning. Some of y'all was here for my morning show covering BMF. Y'all, if y'all are BMF Black Mafia family fans and y'all did not watch the episode last night, ooh, it was so intense, y'all. It was so intense last night. BMF, y'all got to watch it. If y'all if y'all need to play catch up and binge watch a couple of episodes to get up to get caught up, please do. Miss Tiva, whenever you find time, start from season one, episode one on BMF. That show is the shit. Okay, I'm telling you, and it's on stars. Okay, girls chat. That's what it was. Yep. Make sure you hit me up anytime um, on IG if you want us to still join you for that discussion. But other words, you guys. Um, please like and share the video. Make sure you subscribe to the Hood Table. If you are not already subscribed, please and thank you very much. Also, make sure you, uh, did I say like and share? Yeah, like and share the video. And also, if you want to donate to the platform for the commentary, feel free to send a cash app to dollar sign, the Hood Table 402. Thank you. Also, again, everyone who celebrates Easter, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, safe Easter with your friends, family, and loved ones, and have a good week following Easter Sunday. And also stay safe, be blessed, remain vigilant, and always remember to keep it hood. I'm out.